Morning all, shiny shove, and it's a grey old Wednesday outside, and inside it's still joyful and happy because today I'm taking my car off to get serviced, as you heard probably on Monday or whenever it was, and um, yeah, the shiny shove of today is all around the space that you leave when you've asked a question. Um, I'm going to make an assumption that you're um, asking quality questions and maybe I'll do the shiny shove on that tomorrow. Who knows? Um, but when you ask a question, there is something about leaving a space, leaving enough room for the answer to drop in, for the answer to manifest itself, for you to actually be able to reflect on the answer for long enough. So sometimes the answers do come if we are self-reflecting um, or indeed if somebody else asks us. Sometimes the answers come really quickly. They come from a place of the gut or a place of the heart um, that actually sit in there. And there's a lot of judgment that people can actually have around if they don't answer straight away that they take that as hesitation. I don't. I love, certainly when I'm coaching people, the key thing that actually is the difference that makes the difference is usually the question dropped in and the space left so that the answers can come and evolve and show up in a way that if we push or rush for an answer may not actually be as full an answer as you might be wanting. So that's my question for you today. When you've asked a question of yourself or others, are you leaving a space so that the answers can emerge and be more fully answered? Bit of a deep one today. So have a wonderful day, whatever you are doing, and I will catch you tomorrow.